the city of Ames is the home to Iowa State University. So um, for the most part, dirt, when school is in session, we have approximately 50 some thousand, maybe a little over 60,000 now residents. Um, our traffic department takes care of the traffic signals, all the signs in the city. So as far as city signs go, we have approximately 10,000 signs that we maintain. Over the past few years, the federal government have been doing a lot of crash analysis studies, and they've determined that a lot of accidents are happening at night. When a light hits a sign from a source, say your headlight, that light is going to come directly back at you. So you're going to see that in your windshield. So the federal government said all signs should meet minimum levels of retro reflectivity. And of course they gave us, you know, certain amounts of, or certain time frames to get these signs up to, up to par. So essentially we needed a better way to be able to manage our, our data, our retro reflectivity data. So we worked with our in-house, our GIS department, and they also worked with a, a company to develop an app where we could store all of our maintenance history and all of our retro reflectivity information for each sign. Um, now all we had to do was assign each sign a unique identification so that we could maintain that data with that sign. We needed something that was going to last, you know, for possibly 15 years. So uh, in doing some research, we found a company, Metalcraft, that produces these barcode tags and, and they have a particular adhesive on the back of them that would allow them to last for, you know, 15 years or more on these signs. So one of the things that was really beneficial about the Metalcraft barcode stickers is that they worked really well with our retro reflectometer. Um, the retro reflectometer allows us to scan the barcode and then any shots that we take with our reflectometer after that will, will attach directly to that uni unique ID number that we scanned with the barcode. I envisioned the, a process of tagging all of our signs to be probably a three year process. Um, but we found, you know, it went a lot faster than we expected and we were able to tag uh, approximately 8,000 signs within the matter of a few months. So uh, it, was, it was really easy, an easy process, a lot easier than I anticipated. In the past, anytime we did maintenance to a sign, we would actually take a paper record and bring it back in. Um, so now what we can do is anytime we do maintenance, we, we have our iPads in our truck with us, we can just go ahead and take care of that maintenance history. We can get that taken care of out in the field. It's done. It's visible to all of our sign crew at that moment. You know, you hit save. Um, it's visible. Um, anytime we're out in the field and we may be driving past location and say, you know, hey, I thought there was a sign there. We don't have to come back into the shop and see, you know, hey, are we missing a sign there or what's the deal? We can, we can turn our GPS on, on our iPad. It'll put us right there in that location. We'll see what sign's supposed to be there. If it's missing, we can take care of it right away. In the future, this is going to save us a tremendous amount of money. Um, this is really going to impact safety um, just by making sure our signs are up, our signs meet the minimum levels that the federal government has set for us, and it's been really easy for everybody to catch on.